Welcome to Math 141 for fall uh, here at Wacom. My name is Chuck Devanji. I will be your instructor for this course. And uh, I've been an adjunct faculty member here at Wacom for uh, almost 30 years. Uh, I've also, I also teach in the Bellingham Public Schools. I've taught at all the middle schools. I currently teach at Bellingham High School. And it's all math, all math all day for me. So uh, I'm hoping just to do a brief introduction here to WAMAP, get you thinking about the course, uh, get you feeling ready to get going. So you've already logged on to WAMAP. Uh, you know that it looks like this. My, my page right now here is set in student mode, so this should be like what you would see. I like to use WAMAP. It's, it's a very robust program uh, behind the scenes. I know it, it looks a little dated, uh, but it, uh, it allows us to do a lot of stuff with assessments, uh, with tests, with feedback, and we can type math back and forth to each other. I'll show you some of those things. So as you can see right now, I have the first three weeks uh, ready to go uh, in here. And then just so you know, if I'm going to look at the instructor version here, I got the the course is all mapped out and ready to go. And I, I try to make sure that I release things two to three weeks before the actual week. So if you like to work ahead, work ahead if you can, um, you can do that. On most things, the only things you can't take early are the actual exams and the final. OK, course is all laid out. So let's take a peek at, for instance, you've already looked at day one. You've already opened this up because you're watching this video right here. Um, but if you look at a week, notice there's a couple of different sections in here. And each week will have a different collection of, of sections. So, um, but there will be some commonalities here. And one of them is in week one, notice I have this 1.1, 1.2. 1 1.1 is the lecture. That's the lecture for section 1.1. Um, there's some extra links often if, if you like them, if, if you need them. And also there's the problems out of the text that I want you to give a try to. So you click here, watch the lecture, uh, look at the text, and give those problems a try. So in week one, we're doing section 1.1, 1.4. And then most weeks, there'll be quizzes and forums. Uh, there'll be quizzes to do and forums to respond to. You uh, respond to the prompt in a forum and you also respond to someone else's prompt for, for points. And then week two is a little more typical. Usually we'll have a practice quiz and a time quiz. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about those when we look at the syllabus. So this is how you get into what's going on what weeks. We have an announcements section. Um, read them. This will update every week. Uh, if there's something coming up, something weird happens, I'll put stuff in here as well. Um, and resources. You look here, there's a link to the textbook, uh, course calendar, and syllabus, and then a little how to type math symbols in WAMAP, which is a good thing to take a peek at. So before I jump into the syllabus, I'm going to look at this printable calendar. Notice it says printable. I really, really think you should print it out, um, or at least put a copy on it, however you keep a calendar, because this shows you everything in the course. Um, this is the, so this is the little calendar for the course. Um, this is, it says it's tentative, but I would only change it if something very strange happens. Um, I don't know why I would change it. So we've got some exams. You can tell the date of exam one, the date of exam two, uh, exam three as well, and the final. Um, things that are italicized or bolded are assignments or tests. So the bolded things are exams and the final. Italicized things are assignments, things that have to be done. They're also um, quizzes. So notice on Wednesday, um, I am, you should have the week one form done by then, and you need to take the intro quiz that day. And then the week one form response would be due on Friday. You can see the layout of this. And then where it says 1.1, 1.4, that's my recommendation for when you should be doing the latest, actually, you should be doing that section out of the book um, or, or the lecture and the, and the practice. And again, feel free to work ahead. Um, I really strongly recommend you do a little bit every day. <clears throat> uh, I've had people take courses like this before, and they do it all right before the practice quiz. They're not ready. Um, just spread it out and do a little bit of every day. If you can work ahead, it's a really good, really good idea to work ahead. Um, again, print this out. Keep it somewhere where you can see it. And then you don't have to send me an email saying, I didn't know we had blah, blah, blah going on. No embarrassing missed deadlines. You'll notice over here there is a calendar 
I would not rely on it as much as that printed calendar. Um, there's stuff in here. Um, sometimes there'll just be a question mark. That just means the title. I didn't load the title properly for it. So that is a thing. Again, I wouldn't count on this calendar, but it does it does exist. Go with the go with the printed version. All right, let's take a look at that syllabus. Most of this I'm going to let you read on your own. Um, for this, links to our textbook. Our textbook is open source textbook online, so you don't have to purchase a textbook for this course. Uh, we are working in WAMAP, not Canvas, as you know, because you're here. How grades are going to work. Uh, the assignments are not graded, so that's practice, but it's practice to do so that you're ready for all the assessments. Uh, exams and final altogether, 65% of your grade. Um, I'll, there'll be practice exams and the final for each of them, so you'll know what's going on. Okay, practice quizzes and forms, 15% of the grade. Uh, quizzes, the practice quizzes are not timed. You get four tries on, on every problem on it, um, and it has to be completed by essentially right before midnight on their due date. Um, and then if you take the practice quiz, you're ready for the time quiz because they are very similar to each other. Time quizzes are 20% 20 20 of the grade. You have two hours to take it. It should not take you two hours. I gave you a play time. That's continuous time. So um, once you hit start on the time quiz, if you walk away or you, there's no pausing it, the time just runs from when you hit start. They also have to be submitted by 11.59, so uh, plan your time well on that one. Uh, you have two hours. You have three tries on each question on it, um, three attempts per problem. So, And again, if you know the practice quiz, you'll be, you'll be good on the time quiz. Uh, a couple small things, just round to three decimal places. If it doesn't specify, it's just good practice. Um, and if you ever feel you've been shortchanged on a question, like you think, I got this right, just message me. Um, there is an auto grader, but I go back after it's over, uh, after it's been due, and just grade everything by hand as well, because the auto grader is not, not reliable, and I like to see your work as well, see how you're doing. Uh, one note, this class is over at the final. Everything has to be submitted by 11.59 the day before the final. Um, that is hopefully clear to you. Um, I also, you get six late passes. So late passes can be used on a practice or timed quizzes. That's it. They, they don't count towards forums or exams or the final. And they also don't extend the end of the course. So don't if don't try and use them right, right at the end because they, they don't work. Um, so six late passes. If you miss a, pr a practice or a timed quiz, you can use those. Or if you want to go back and redo one of them, you can use those for that. I'm feeling like that's about it. Yeah, you could look at the rest of this. Uh, syllabus when you get a chance. Just one thing looking ahead a little bit. Practice exam one will, will come here after week three when it's available. That's on the calendar when it's available. And that correlates to exam one. Exams will pop in here underneath announcements uh, when they're available. Um, and for exams, I you have you have on the exam day you have um, from eight until ten just to do it in the two-hour sitting. So anytime during that day you can take it online, um, but just make sure that you've blocked out time so you don't try and pause it because it's not possible. Um, again, one of the reasons I really like WAMAP, um, I'm going to go into messages, and I prefer if you're going to message me, use messages in WAMAP. I'll have this open on my desk um, during the day and easy for me to check. So if I wanted to send a message to someone, I would choose who, the, who it is, um, you know, whatever my um, subject is, and here or so, blah, blah, thank you, I, you're the best. Um, and then what you can do, add new math. There's also some keyboard shortcuts for this you can learn. But if I click on that and then type something like uh, 3x squared, whoops, squared uh, plus 5x divided by the square root of 7y, and then I can arrow out or just hit enter. It's going to format it in a way that I can see the math. So this is a really good way for us to communicate back and forth. You can do this in forums, you can do this in messages, and all that. Um, one of the reasons I love WAMAP is our ability to communicate uh, with each other that way.
If you have any questions at any time, either post them in the forums. Forums are here. You can get there that way. You can also get there through the uh, specific form assignment. Um, or message me with questions. And, and sometimes I get message questions that are so good, I'll post them in the forums. There is a questions for the um, questions for the instructor forum that you should take a look at as well. Uh, also, my job is to make sure that you have the skills uh, that you need to be successful in this course. So ask me questions. I'm, I'm here to help. Um, and if you're going to miss a test or something like that or something comes up, please message me as early as you can before the test, if possible. Um, just missing an exam because you forgot about it is not a great excuse. And I'm not going to I'm not going to be real accommodating to that. But if something comes up in life, please let me know. I'll work with you on that. All right. I'm looking forward to working with you. And uh, hey, why don't you start on the first forum and maybe get that intro quiz done?